Hello friends, welcome to the Postman tutorial series from Software Testing Help. In this tutorial, we will see what are Newman reporting templates. Newman, which is a command line integration tool for Postman, supports creating HTML based reports for the collections that are executed through the command. As part of the agenda, we will cover what are the reporting templates, what are the available templates that can be used along with Newman and we'll also touch upon another reporter that is newman reporter html extra to see what kind of reports that it can generate so let's get started i have a postman application open on my desktop and i'll be using a predefined collection this is postman newman integration with environment it has three requests register get and login user all these requests are created using a public facing API called HTTPS request.in. It provides helper endpoints which can be used for testing purposes. And this also uses environment variable in this method get user request. The user ID value is fetched from an environment called test env. We can see that the value is 4 and if I execute this request I should be able to get the value for user id 4 so in order to get started with newman first we need to have json variants of these collection that means that we need to export these collections and environment variable both in json to do that i can simply say export we'll keep collection v2.1 as the default option I'll name it as postman underscore collection dot json. It says your collection was exported successfully. Similarly, for environment, you can select manage and test env. I'll download. I'll name it as postman underscore environment dot json. And we can see that the environment was also exported successfully. So now we have the environment and collection files exported successfully as JSON. Let's open the command prompt to execute this collection with Newman. Ensure that we are on the same folder where the collections are. Otherwise, we'll have to provide the entire path. To check whether I have Newman installed, I'll simply do Newman V. And it says 4.5.5 that means the newman tool is installed on my laptop to run this collection the command will be newman run the path to the collection json minus e is the switch for the environment and i simply click enter now since we have not specified any reporter here there will be no HTML based report that gets generated here. It's just the report or summarized view on the console. In order to generate report along with Newman, you need to download other node packages which are nothing but reporters. There are a couple of them available. You can search for Newman HTML reporter. There is one called this package Newman reporter HTML. This can be installed using npm install minus g reporter. You can simply install it like us like any other node package. And this reporter name is HTML. So in order to run or create report for this using this reporter we'll need to add a reporter switch to our newman execution command so now we are back on the command prompt let's use the reporter switch to run the command And I'll say minus r as HTML. Now, when you click enter, you'll not see anything on console. 
but it will create our HTML report. And if I go to and it creates the report in a folder called new man and the directory gets created on the same folder where the new man is run. If I do a list here, it says that there is one HTML report that's there. I'll simply say new man run report. And we can see that there is an HTML report that gets generated. Although it is very basic view, but it's still in HTML format with all summarized view, which could be shared with the users. Now this was the HTML template that we used. Now we can see that there are no indication for any failures or we cannot look at it and say that something passed or failed just looking at the report we have to read it to see what what happened so in order to do that there are custom templates available and custom reporter options which could be applied to using the same reporter html and we can have different representations of the reports that get generated so one such report or one such template is something on a gist so someone has created this template default colored hbs and hbs is nothing but a handlebar js uh, template and it essentially takes the values that are created through the new man execution run and it applies some styling to it you can create your own handlebar template as well but that is out of the scope of this tutorial we'll see how we can use the readily available templates there are a lot of uh, default and lot of other templates that have been created by online community we can use any of them so we'll see that there is just just file named as template default colored.hbs you can simply copy the content and save it on your file system and to use it you can simply use a command like this. You need to add the reporter HTML template to your new man command. And if you have saved the HBS file with the name of colored.hbs, I'll click enter. So in order to run using this HBS template, I'll go back to my directory where the template is installed or saved. And I'll simply use the Newman reporter, reporter HTML template switch with the file name and I'll click enter. So once this is executed, we can go back to our Newman folder and open the newly generated report. That's the latest one. And yes, we can see that here it looks a little better in terms of summarize view remains same. But if you see the request, it gives you an expanded collapse kind of styling for the request and it basically applies a green color styling to request that pass and if there were some failures it will apply red color to it we can try with failure options as well let's try to make one of the tests fail here we can write or add a test in this get user request i'll say pm.test status code is say 400 which is actually 200 I'll say pm dot response to have status as 400. Let's test this. It says expected response to have status 400, but got 200. So that means there is one assertion failing here. Let's re export this collection in order to update our JSON. And I'll keep the name same here so that we don't have to change it while running new map replace let's go back to our command prompt and let's run the same command again 
once this run you can see there is a third report that created and now you can see that there is one request that is showing in red color which is the get user where this request is failing because status code is 200 test is now failing I mean that there are two tests status code is 200 is the collection level test that is passing and the one that we just now added is now failing which is expected so that's for the reporter HTML template option along with the HTML reporter there is another way to have different HTML report gen get generated which is to have another HTML reporter itself there is one that is available as a node package which is Newman reporter HTML extra to install this the command remains same it's again and like any other node package you can say npm install minus g Newman reporter HTML extra So once this gets installed, in order to use this template, we'll use the same command. We'll just change the reporter name from HTML to HTML extra. Let's click enter and wait for this to execute. And let's go back to the new man and we can see that there is this new report that gets generated i'll say open and yes you can see that this is a different view of the html report that was getting generated with the old reporter but this is a lot better in terms of look and feel and in terms of summary you can directly see it in the summarized view like there were total iterations of one total number of assertions were four fail test and all collection description is there and summarized view of how many scripts and assertions were there there is also another view like total request view which is detail about the individual request you can see the urls request type it also gives you all request headers and response headers as well so in terms of request responses it gives you entire details in including request and response headers for all the requests so this is a request view another tab is called failed test so if there are any failed tests and you want to just see only failures you can click here and see all the failing requests and what what was the failure so it is again a summarized view of failed test and skip test if any but in all it's a better view of the collection execution and if it's shared with any other users or business users it's easy to make out what is happening with the test execution so that's what we saw with the HTML extra reporter this reporter also provides a lot of other options and flags in terms of viewing just the fail test or avoiding any skip test and all you can basically go to this newman reporter html page and see the details around it there is also a github page for this reporter and there is this danny denton guy who has created this reporter html template and you can see that there are lot of other options that it provides extra test paging browser title themes and all it provides a lot of customizations that you can apply to these reports but to get started with this itself looks promising and has information all the information that is complete and succinct so that's it for this video tutorial thank you